So you've heard the estimates. They think in, yes. you know, in the next no. century in Russia, the population is going to be half as big. Yes, absolutely. We, we need people here to absolutely. replace ourselves. Absolutely. But what we don't do is bring, bring, come, uh, develop policies which actually compromise our own fertility rates. I just mentioned the fact. Wait a sec. How would immigration policy affect our fertility? You rates? drive up housing, the price of housing, which is which is what immigration does. All the housing bubbles that we've seen around the world, immigration was a factor in every one of them. Uh, you drive up the price of housing. You price your young people out of the market. Young people make up, they make their decisions about when they're going to have children based on whether or not they can afford a house. Let me get Stephen on the issue of whether or not immigration affects fertility rates. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I, I've heard this argument in the past about housing prices going up, I and mean, you just told us the number, 0.7 percent. You can't tell me that by immigration our houses have gotten more expensive. I mean, with all respect, it just doesn't make sense to me, and that's a, uh, you know, a story and a theory that's been floated around whenever anyone doesn't want immigration to Canada because it becomes too expensive. We don't want people coming in.